With a yo ho ho, it's Tail of the Toaster. Time to go home and let's play Inazuma 11. Let's, well, go home. Oi, oi, where are you two off to? Were you two getting all lovey dovey under the starlight there? Oh, I'm so jealous. Hey, that's enough. Let us past. What? What did you say? I can't hear you. I said, let us past. What? Let you past? I can see I've got to teach you some manners. Oh, oh. So, the last episode was pretty light-hearted, huh? Now you can see why this game got a Peggy 12. With a kick like that, why won't he play football? There must be a good reason. I mean, come on, he got physically punched about six times. And then that truck thing as well. And now Mark just wants to be super stubborn and just keep asking Axel until he joins us. And to be fair... With a flaming kick like that, I'd want him on the team too. I'm home! Hello, Mark! Your dinner's ready, so go and put your bag away and come down to eat! <laughs> Guess what, Mum? I met a fantastic football player today. His kicks were amazing! Yes, yes, you can tell me over dinner. You're always thinking about football. And a fade to black. And now he's somewhere else in the room. Granddad, have I got a story for you? And that's Mark's granddad. You can tell he idolises him, eh? I met a great lad today. His name's Axel Blaze. It's been a while since I've been this excited. Football is the best game ever. Just you watch, Granddad. I'll be practising hard every day from now on. And another fate of black to imply that he's practicing. Where are we going to wake up now? We're in the school. The next day. I wonder which class Axel will be in. Oh, Sylvia, Sylvia, I overheard some boys talking. It turns out a new boy will be joining our class. I wonder who he is. Mark, I, I think the transfer student is... Oh, getting cut off mid-sentence. Who's it going to be? He's here, and there he is at the bottom left. Who could it be? Well, there you go. Everybody, we have a new friend joining us today. Well then, Axel, why don't you introduce yourself? <laughs> Hi, my name is Axel Blaze. Axel! Don't interrupt the teacher, that's rude and against the rules. Mark, are you friends? Axel, you're in my class! It must be fate! 
Well, that's good. You've already made a friend. Now I don't have to find one for you. My job's going to be considerably easier now. I'm just gonna go home and stare at the fireplace. I've got nothing better to do. I'll definitely have to ask him about joining the football team now. I wonder if I can catch up to him. Well, everybody has the same overworld running speed in this game, so I expect you can. Those are Andy and Aurelia. They're not particularly important, but they do have portraits, so it's nice to talk to them. They'll always be there. And there's another lady. Just wants us to go away, frankly. What are you on about? There he is. You know, it'll be quite easy to catch up. I mean, look how much faster you're going. Axel Way! He's gone. Could have just kept chasing him. Somebody broke the glass. <sighs> we, if we actually went to the school earlier on instead of just going to the tower, then we would have been able to find out about that whole backstory of somebody breaking a window. But I, I didn't want to hold us up too much. I thought, well, it's episode one. We better do something productive instead of just finding out about somebody breaking a window. What? You again. I've already told you I don't want to play football. But why? You like football, don't you? <sighs> I'm walking away. Axel, why? Why don't you wait, you horrible little toad? I've got an amiibo now! Huh? You're that girl from yesterday. I've never seen a girl before. The reason he stopped playing football was because of his sister. Why don't you just leave him alone? Because of his sister? What does that mean? And how come you know all this stuff anyway? Don't you worry about that. I think you'd better concentrate on finding some more club members. If the captain can't even round up enough members for a proper team, the club deserves to be disbanded. Harsh words. I thought she was going to shove me out of the way then. I'll show you, Nelly. I'm going to recruit some people. Mm, this just sounds like you're all talk. They'll go find some. It won't be too late to ask Axel once I've found them. I think I'll start by having a chat with Nathan. I'll head over to the athletics track. It's just north of the club room near the baseball field. You can now go to the baseball field. I didn't realise we couldn't go there before, to be quite honest. The, the entrance was wide open. But let's go shopping! What can you actually buy here? Milk. You can buy rice balls. In the last episode when I said this is pretty much the most British RPG ever, along with it, Xenoblade Chronicles, I think Xenoblade has a slight edge because Inazuma, really it's half British, half Japanese, because... Shh, this is a library! Uh, uh, Alright, uh, I'll, I'll go. <laughs> But yeah, it's kind of half English, half Japanese, because the dialogue and voice acting, very, very British. But the game is set in Tokyo, and you can still eat things like rice balls and the like, so it's a clever mix, and I like it. I think this is the staff room. We shouldn't really be able to go in here. But at least somebody's wishing us luck against Royal Academy. You think we have a chance, right? There's another blog entry. I don't think we can head this way. No, we can't because the tennis club has a match today. I was so, so happy just to see that line when I was younger because I only bought this game because I loved Mario Tennis Power Tour, a sports RPG with original characters. So when I saw that the you know, the first team we were going to be playing against is Royal Academy, the same name as the team you play for in Mario Tennis Power Tour. I was pretty chuffed, and then I was even happier to learn that there was actually a tennis club in this game as well. Are you gathering members for your club right now? Yeah, how about you? Do you fancy playing football together? I'm afraid I have to turn your offer down, but... Maybe if I were the last member who joins, I might be interested. Bespectacled Hero Saves Puny Football Club. 
It's got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? <laughs> of course, I'll also need an ace number for the occasion. <laughs> yeah, you can bugger off. You're probably not even that good. Oh, you want me to join? I'm not well. <coughs> Cough. I'm really unwell. Fine, well, Mark said, let's go find Nathan. So how about... We actually do that. He's at the athletics club. So let's give him a good old chatter. Apparently there's someone in a classroom, but we'll get to that later. Is this team really going to play against the national champions? Life's never dull with you. So you're short on players, right? Well, then I can help you out. The athletics club's new members are all pretty good, so I'm sure they can cope without me. Really? Your speed will definitely come in handy. Thanks, Nathan. Don't mention it. I wanted to play anyway. Plus, playing football with you looks like a lot of fun. I'll show you what a sprinter can do for football. And we have our first new member. It's Nathan. And to be honest, I'm surprised he wasn't just a part of the football club to start off with, because something they don't really make clear in this game. You're not actually first years... Now, Ryman has three years. The first year's the second year's, and the people in finals, the third year. You're not in the first, you're actually in the second year. You've already been in the football club for a year, but only now do you need to start recruiting people because you've finally got a match coming up. Mark and Nathan are clearly best buds, but Nathan was just invested in the athletics club. Now he feels outclassed, so he's with us. I'm not going to complain now that he's on our side. Yes, we've just been to the baseball field. Football? Actually, I was thinking of having a go at it. The other sports didn't really catch my interest, so I might not stay long. Well, then you've got no place in the club! If you want to be in the football club, you've got to dedicate yourself to it! We love football in this club! But we're kind of desperate, so yeah, we'll let you in. Just make sure it's never boring, and I might be able to stick out. Right, so Max has joined the team, full name Maxwell, and he's got headwear. Yeah, he's pretty much the main character of Scribble Noughts, except in Inazuma 11 now. It's quite curious. But, uh, yes, oh, I've already got the treasure chest over here. I don't need it anymore. In fact, the treasure chest has disappeared now. Knocked him out with one blow? Are you little Mac? No, he's Axel Blaze, and we're going to try and get all of him. I don't need to speak to the roadblocks again. Let's go to the club room. Yeah, bloody Max thinking he's just going to get bored of football. That shows just how desperate we are for new members. Are there any students that will still want to come and join us? But we'll take him for now. He could, he could be good. Captain, even if we can get 11 players, we've still got to play against Royal Academy. Yeah, can we really get enough players? Ah! A match against Royal Academy? I'm... I'm scared. There's nothing we can do to stop the club from being disbanded. Timmy? I can't even get a good nap in. hi -ya! Are you sure you shouldn't be in the judo club, young man? I mean, he didn't say hi -ya there, but... He, he is a pretty big fan of Kung Fu, if you couldn't figure that out. Hey, Willie, I've managed to recruit people without you. Yeah, I'm not going to need you. I only need to find two more people. And I bet Axel Blaze is well up for it. He loves football because... He's, how could he not? Look at that shot! Hey, meanwhile, hello you. Hey, aren't you in the football club? That's right, I'm the captain, Mark Evans. I'm Paul Peabody. I used to play football, but I quit because I wasn't good enough for the team. Practice makes perfect. Why don't you play with us? No, I can't! Well, that ended abruptly. Let's talk again. Come on, let's play together. No way! That was short. Paul, don't you want to play football? God, he doesn't look like a Paul. Paul, football is the best thing ever. Oh, really? You could just kind of circle around him mid-sentence. What else do you have to do besides playing football, you big saddo? I'm pretty busy with lots of things. Don't worry, I'm 
fairly sure that no one will mistake you for a ball and kick you. Fairly sure. Yeah, I, I don't blame him for not joining now. I've got some cookie bars. Why don't you join the dark side? We've got cookies. No, you don't want one. What do you want? I don't want anything. <laughs> I'm begging you. You've asked me nine times now. What's wrong with you? Stop hassling me. <laughs> okay, we're not having that one. Hmm, look at the top screen. One of those NPCs seems pretty out of the way. The blue dots are the NPCs, if you didn't realize. It's a creepy guy who sits at the back of the class on the far left. I think he's a second year. And that just puts an exclamation mark atop our head and nothing else. Treasure chest with mineral water and mineral water. Tasty baldy! Football! I heard the best players get to be famous. Do you think that if I play, I'll get my five minutes of fame too? Yes, yes. Okay, it seems like this could be my big break. I'll join your team. I'm really good at covering my tracks, so be sure to use my talent. Or else. Uh, Jim has joined the team. Great! Just one more player! How about that kid with the glasses? Now might be the perfect time! We don't want him, did you hear what he said? He wants to be the ace! That pathetic little wimp wants to be the ace. I'm not buying it. Let's just keep looking around the school. They do actually have some business with a young man over here, though. The teacher wasn't angry that I broke the window. I knew pretending to cry would do the trick. You! I will shove you into the wall and like, barrage you with all my players. Go break windows. I love this school. Leave my windows alone, you got me. And still, Ryman's pretty good at fixing windows. They're like the, they're like the National Rail, which has a fix within 48 hours policy. Or else, well, I think that's for graffiti, but... Good job for fixing it, Ryman. If you see the flag on the top screen, that just tells us where we need to go. It will be of use, although I think we could find Willy by ourselves for this point of the game. Oh, if you have three people in tow, that would mean I'm the last one. So you're that desperate for me, are you? Then I'm inclined to accept your offer. But these are my terms. I will gracefully consider it only if I can have the number 10 shirt. That's right. You, some wimpy little nerd who's like never played football before, want to be a star striker. I'm not having it. Why will I let you on? But I think that what we should do is we should let him on for now, and as soon as we get Axel, we'll kick him off. Training? Aces don't need to train. They're born ready. So Willie's joined the team for now. Well, you never know. I guess he could be good. It looks like we've managed to scrape together a team of 11 players. Let's go tell everyone in the club room. Oh, I should make a record of the players who joined the team in the binder. Yep, Mark has a binder. Let's have a little look at it, shall we? I never use this thing. Uh, we can only check on Ryman. But yeah, 78 pages. There's... Th I mean, just look how many pages there are. In fact, we don't even, like, reach the first player until page 15. I've already checked in advance. The first 14 pages are just empty right now. But yeah, this keeps track of every player that you've recruited and every player that you've just battled against. You know how many players they can fit on 78 pages when there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... 10. Yeah, 10 players per page, 78 pages. There's a hell of a lot of players in this game. And that's that's not even all of them. You may have noticed there was also a rival team section. I think there's actually a thousand players in this game. I think that's one of the things they bragged about in the commercials. 
I can't confirm that it's definitely a thousand, but I think that might be the case. But anyways, we have a full team now. Look at it. We, well, they're not really here right now, but we do have a full team. So in the next episode, we're going to report to the club room and have a little chat about what we're going to do with them. TTFN.